Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Yishian, the auto-battling deck builder that has reconsumed my mind. Very excited to be checking out another new character here. A lot has changed in the game, has been added to the game. So hey, we're back at it again. Whether or not we play more is based on how much you guys support this video. But in we're going to be going with the new Cloud Sword Sect character. Uh, let's see, Lu Jianxin. They are basically a character that starts with a special sword that will upgrade over time. It's a card that you can more or less customize yourself. Every time you break through phases and pick a new perk, you can upgrade your starting sword card and you'll keep it through the whole game, which is a really unique mechanic for this game. Nobody else has anything quite like that, but I'm going to pause. I'll be back when we're in a match. All right, here we shall go. Uh, I have not even played a practice round with this guy, so who freaking knows? Uh, at the beginning of the game, get Clear Heart Sword Embryo. What a name. Uh, after every battle, it will increase its attack by one. Okay, so we will grab that for now. We have the Chi and Defense thing. This is not like a great start. We could do um, something like this, I guess. We could keep this for later. I don't know. Oh, man. we It really seems like we should keep this. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to probably take an L on the first round. I think that that maybe makes some sense here. But more or less what I'm doing, Sword Intent, if you don't know, if you didn't watch the last kind of like videos I did on this, it will increase the damage of the next attack you do by that amount. So I increase the damage of the next thing by two. This is not necessarily a very, like, good synergistic start. I might beat this guy? I actually will probably beat this guy. But that is a, that is a weird thing. I should probably have not beaten that guy. <laughs> so, 7 attack. Alright, what do we go for? We did Elixirus yesterday. El I mean, Elixirus is a favorite of mine. We have Plant Master. I'm very curious about that, but I'm worried about doing too many new variables at the same time. So we'll take Fooluist. So Sword Intent, we can do something good here. Slash, add Sword Intent, Sword Intent. And the fun thing about it is if you have a multi-strike attack, it will increase both. So that is obviously going to be a good tool. Um, Man... Next attack ignores defense. I mean, we have the Chi card there. We could go Chi, which gives us two mana, so we could play both of those. It's kind of a thing. We wouldn't really need to be playing this. Ah! I had to get this card and make things so complicated for myself. I'll upgrade that so it does four damage twice. All right, I think, it was, I think it's baiting me, so I'm just going to get rid of it. We have a different build going on. It's baiting me. Just get rid of it. We're going to focus on whatever we do with the uh, clear sword embryo. Which, it is nice to just have, like, a freebie card like that, too. Just need to make sure I don't get rid of it on accident. But yeah, you can see sword intent plus two, plus two. That makes it so these get four extra damage. Both hits. That's the really cool thing about that kind of attack. Um, okay. I don't have... Oh, now I don't have a Chi, though, so I do have the issue where that doesn't make any sense. Deal 4 to 12 damage. Consumption, then it'll get rid of it. I feel like I do like that. Alright. Choose an effect for your clear sword embryo. Either plus 3 attack or reduce the attack by 3 and add 8 defense. That's a pretty big deal. Let's do it. I'm probably going to pick the one that upgrades my uh, my things every time, if I'm going to be honest. Save the Wind Sword to upgrade. Uh, I also, I will not deny, I have played a lot of <laughs> a lot of this since the last video. All on the other character that I already played, just so that I wouldn't show off anything new. To, to show off to myself anything new. And you may notice some of these cards have kind of like a special little glowing border. That's one of their ways, since the game is now free to play, that's their like monetization model. It's a very simple thing, so you sure as hell should not be complaining like, oh my god, it's 
shakes up the game so much. Look at this little gentle glow that you can barely see. Uh, but yeah, that's one thing I got. Woo! Woo! That was tight. Um, so this... Ooh, this is interesting. I feel like guaranteeing Dragon Roam is good. Injured, if injured, Chase. It's just, it's a very good card. Chase is just good, right? Uh, two Chi, if Chi's greater than two, make an additional attack two times. Here's kind of what I want to do. So we get the Chi, the next attack ignores the defense. It'll be this one. So this gets to t benefit from the sword intent over here without uh, consuming it. So that's quite beneficial. I think I might... I might keep these, though, having that kind of, like, tighter deck. Eh. Rip. The tighter deck could be good. But again... The uh, Cultivation, which is basically what you get for absorbing cards, does determine what who goes first. So it is a little important. I Okay, I extreme overkill. I could have tried to examine what he's got, but oh well. So the next attack ignores defense. We need to... You know what? We messed up. We need to put that after this attack. It's not going to matter, probably. It did not. So basically, as long as we do damage to their HP, it doesn't matter. It counts as the injury, which is what we need in order to uh, not lose our sword intent. So it could have been bad. We want to adjust the ordering there. Right, like... The life shop is now open. What do we have? Ooh. Two attack times four. We're going to want that. Change your job to Elixirist, then draw a side job card. You draw one card immediately, and other characters draw one at the start of the next round. At the start of each battle, both players lose 15 HP and max HP. Is good if we're going to go for, like, a quick kill build. Let's do it. We can go for all of those. We can get all of them. I just don't know if I want to or not yet. We have enough chi to do this. It does work with both. But I'm not using any consumes right now, which is a little bit a little bit tight. Hmm. Two attack times four. I think I'll probably buy this next round. I, I can't get it right now because I'm not in that phase. We're three cards away from getting it. Alright. So maybe this 15 damage will help. Because basically, yeah, if we're trying to go for a nuke build, it benefits us. It benefits us more than it benefits them. Whoop. Yikes. Ho! Oh, too close for comfort. Too close for comfort. Chi plus one, sword intent plus three. I think, uh... I might like... I might like that better. Breakthrough. Chain attack, make an additional plus four attack. Charge, gain a an increased attack. Reduce the attack by two, but increase your sword intent by four. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's tricky. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to take it. One permanent attack, we could go for scaling. Well, I've already kind of gone for burst, I suppose, though. So, there that there that is, I guess. Um, I have one chi. Don't need this. Four attack times two. Cloud hit the next time you attack. Ignore defense. I mean, it's not that helpful yet. But I just need a card. I, I just need a card to get in there that's not bad. Uh, so Cloud Hit is a mechanic where if you've played a card that says Cloud Sword before it, then it'll activate that effect. So I I haven't. 
I wonder if there's a way to make the the embryo into a cloud sword. Could be. I don't love what I've done here, though. Especially because we need to put that after. Okay, so we we get rid of sword slash now, and it's replaced with the sword. Yeah, okay. We have plus eight damage to this attack. It's pretty huge. We need to live this, and then we get a kill. But yeah, sword slash, not that beneficial anymore. We want to at least put it further out. Put it, like, right here. That's a little bit better. I could basically play... Okay, so you're low on here. Yeah, I think that's fine. I could play for uh, for this zone. Mm. And save all my rerolls up. The upgrade to this gives us what? M more sword intent, right? Yeah, more sword intent doesn't give us more chi. So I would have to ditch this at some point. Yeah, so this four sword intent, plus four, plus three intent. I mean, if I could get a cloud hit for that, that is interesting. I don't know. I'm I'm going to greed a little bit, except a, potentially a loss or two, so that I can save up my rerolls for what I'm just going to call the blue phase, when the, the card background is blue, <laughs> whatever that phase is. Okay, huge attack, and then here comes kill. See, that's the thing. That's why we went for the uh, the max HP down to go for more of a burst-focused thing. This uses up a, a, what I'll just call a mana. So the thing is, the second we break through, I am going to grab this. And, oh, God, but the no chi. I might have to... I'd replace this, I guess? With a two chi thing? I do think I lose to this. Yeah, you got... He basically is doing a similar... A similar-ish thing. Except he has the tri -peak sword. We're not blue background. We're, we're waiting for purple backgrounds. Not virtuoso phase, whatever the next one is called. I really should know. I play a lot. I play Yishian mostly on vibes. <laughs> the whatever the purple one's called. We did we both take Pact of Death. I the good news is I get to go first. The question is if that matters. Do I if I live this I. Do I kill? Oh. Going first really... Eh. No, it didn't matter. It's nice. Don't get me wrong. Okay. So we break through. Uh, we can make it so that gives us chi. Two chi. Yeah. This gives us two chi. Okay. That's huge. Okay. Let's... Uh, Let's grab the flow chaos. This goes here for a sec. This goes here. This goes here. Uh, that helps a lot. And we throw a bunch of rerolls looking for some really good cards. Well, that's what we would have gone for, but we don't need to. I think we're done with this. Oh, do we pivot? That's scaling. This is a fantastic card, and we didn't really get any. We didn't really get anything else. All right. If any of these get blocked, we are dead. Though I mean, like, deadish. Hmm. We picked that one card that it's it's a cloud sword card and it's really good for starting things out. That it gives us chase and it's a cloud sword, but the 
chase isn't the cloud sword, I think. So I think we might have something. Oh, you you are not lasting that long. He's got a setup build. It's not happening, Captain. The good the, the thing is we also have extreme overkill here. So I should probably This is greedy. This is really greedy. Defense, add defense. Okay. Um That that makes me think we go for it. So I'm trying to explain. So this will increase, gain three stacks of increased attack. It's like sword intent, but it's permanent. And then we can get this and we can go for cloud sword necessity. We already have the, uh, uh, I think it's attack twice. And if you injure them, chase cloud sword card. That goes first. Can I turn this into a cloud sword? Is that going to be like the final thing? I'm really curious. I'm so curious what the final thing is going to look like. Oh, God. Am I good to go? Who am I fighting? You are not... Mm, you're not not a burster. He is also absolutely going first. I don't think he's going to kill me before this. I don't think he kills me before my payoff. The question is, like, does he have any... Does he have any safety? Does he have any defense? And if not, why am I even... Going for the pop-off anyways, right? It's just... It's just... It's greed. Because we would kill him with the, uh, the flow sword there, right? Ah, oh, he removed my chi. And he weakened me. See, yeah, if I would have moved up, it actually would have been better. He countered me pretty well there. Another one? Give me a... I think it's called... It's Cloud Sword... Uh, Flash Wind, I think it's called. Add a defense for every point of hexagram. You have 80 health. 65. I think we can move up our burst. I'm pretty sure we can. With the 67 HP, we have the 11 attack damage over there too. Oh, you reduced my chi. We gotta look at the Astro move point. But here's the thing. Okay, so we have multiple people who reduce chi. Uh, I think we don't greed. I think we wait. We trash everything in the next one. What, what was over here? This is basically like an extra cultivation. I, I'm not using Fuluist at all. I, I might just take that next round. I think I'm going to take both of these next round. I'm going to take this one. Uh, use it or trash it. I'm not sure yet. Get to breakthrough on 15. No, we don't want to do this yet. We want to break through first if we can, because then we can get a um, a golden tier elixirist, which there's some really good golden tier elixirist cards. If we're going cloud sword, there's not a lot of room in those builds for consumables often, though. We'll see. We'll see. What do you got? Is there any reason why I need... Hmm. 
You're going to reduce my chi by what? Just by one? So we have two chi, but we're generating three. That works fine for me. How do I slot this in there? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm really excited to see what the final breakthrough upgrade is. Like, what what are the choices going to be? I actually, I didn't look. I'm unspoiled. Unbothered, unspoiled. Ooh, you have a lot of health. I did not, I did not see that. You have so much HP. To a point where we will not kill in our burst, I don't think. But, and you also didn't reduce my... And you have me weakened. Okay, so you scouted. Okay. So they changed up their entire build. And it ruined me. There's the flash wind. Uh, okay, so this is... you. It seems like it'd be really good. I usually find it to be a little bait. Unrestrained sword, cloud sword, ultimate, all num num numerical values on this card are increased by one. That's pretty good, but uh, cloud sword, it turning into a cloud sword is really good for us. Uh, and now we pivot entirely. So next, cl wait, next cloud sword card gains chase. Okay, we have we have a full pivot. Injured chase. Next sword gets chase. Chase. Uh, we have... How much chi? We still have two chi. Okay. Uh... Yeah, okay. Awkward, but good. It's for later. It's a good card, but... Maybe? Oh my lord. Two of those is really beneficial for us. I feel like I messed something up. Okay, so this we attack with this. Maybe we chase. If we injure, we chase. Get this. Attack, chase. Get this. Next class or chase. Boom, boom. Retain the... Okay, I think we're fine. But I did not get to do my extra stuff because I just had to... I mean, forgive me for having to pivot my entire run. Okay, good. We get the chase. So we're basically the same kind of thing, except... Uh, we scale now, so if we can't kill on turn one, it doesn't matter. We do the same huge amount of damage right here, but the thing is, we would also keep this six damage forever for the whole for the whole thing. Oh, how much chi do I have? Two chi. Uh, but I don't have that much sword intent now. Okay, that's the thing. I don't have that much sword intent now, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. Two stacks of guard up. Mm, we had kind of had something there a bit. And then consumption. The thing is, the issue is we need a whole extra chi for that. I think we keep it regardless, right? takes our sword intent from 4 to 8. I could get it from 8 to 16. I think it's fine. I think we go for the uh, the long-term scaling impact instead. Uh, I'm anticipating maybe... Maybe top 2. Maybe. Maybe. Top 3, maybe top 2. 
The biggest potential uh, problem is this not breaking armor. Okay. Chase into this. All right. We chase into that. And incoming. Ratatatata. The Cloud Sword Necessity, though. No, we can't do that. Add a Chi for every attack that injures... Wait. We take that. That's obviously it. This could be good. Absorb for more health. later am i ever gonna get this in there maybe maybe not we could do this oh thank you wait i don't have any room for another chase Unless I want to get rid of my sword intent, which I'm maybe fine with? Am I fine with getting rid of my four sword intent? This already has chase. This chases into this. That can't chase that, which means this can't go there. Which means the answer is no. We don't, we don't do anything with that. Okay. We instead combine and say, yay, we do eight damage with that instead. Uh, probably going first. This is more damage. This gives us the chi to do that. And it also... It's a much better late game. It's a much better late game item. Because we can then pivot into some other kind of... I don't know, like maybe a different chase card. I'm trying to think what that'd be. We get, we get to play Ice Spirit Guard Elixir this way. We can anyways. Because this doesn't use chi anymore. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Still, you, you explode. Yeah, that, that, that. Oh, you live. Okay. We have to go through the whole loop. Okay. For each successive cloud hit played before... Um, if I didn't care about... If I don't care about Sword Intent, there's something about that, but this is mostly good if you're running a full loop from beginning to end of Cloud Sword, and otherwise... It's a waste. Um, exhaust your Chi, add 5 attack for every point exhausted. Maybe. Add five for each exhausted. So we could have... It's the one... This isn't that exciting now. I think that's better. It also means this is probably bait. All right. I don't know, man. He's faster than me, but he also he didn't put up any armor. I am regretting the um, the 15 HP minus at this point now that I have an actually like good scaling build. Causes problems for us in the end. Not that many though, to be quite honest. All right. Questions if I can. Eh. Yeah. 
Well, now, you say it that way, I guess we just... If you give me that many of this card, I guess we just pivot into the brap, brap, brap. And hope. Should have plenty. Um, do you have any armor? You do. Whether or not you know to put it first is the question. It would be worth messing up your entire build to put it first. Probably. Well, no. It just stops my chase. Which maybe isn't worth messing up a whole build. But you can probably see why this is a good one to put first in a Cloud Sword string, because the only thing I don't get is the three defense. And to that I say, okay. Alright. Incoming. Brap. Another one. Brap. That's a kill. Oh my god, she died? That's so good for us. Maybe. Do I keep this? I'm never going first. So yes, I, I I keep it unless I try and fish for an upgrade. And since I'm never going first, will you know to do something about this? My hunch is... Mm, my hunch is yes. My, I was going to say it's based off of whether or not they are locked in. And I know they're not locked in because we're not going into battle. I had some concerns about this guy. I had most concerns about you. You were exploding me. That was my only loss so far. And the rest of my HP was from sacrificing my health here, which I will tell you, considering what I picked up was Flow Cloud Chaos Sword, I think it was worth it, dude. We found a lot of these. Finding three of these is really good. But the thing is, I love this new system too. Like, we have this mixed with the fact that I knew I was getting this. I got a couple of these early. Um, so I got two of these early. So it's like, okay. That is... That's a build. That's a build. It's the start of a build. Start of a very good late game build. We pivoted out of sword intent like just in time. He took a long time, which makes me think that he... Nope. I was going to say... Which made me think he was going to do something there. Next card triggers twice. I am scared to see what it's going to be. But if it does not kill me, you are dead. And in fact, you probably lose the game. That's really good. But. Oh, but hold this is what I was going to say. Absorb for the destiny. And now we have a whole bunch of rerolls. Nah. 2 HP, I feel like could work. This gets the extra sword intent that way. That's why we that's why we held that. We'll see. I I don't know if putting a defensive card to stop like for the sole purpose of stopping my chase is going to be enough. I don't think that he can oh. Okay, he can mess me up with with this. So we got to think. If he goes first and I go here, he's going to skip one card. Uh Whatever. We'll see what's up. The good news is we have the health advantage, but that's the thing he could do to, to mess me up, is he could skip a really useful card of mine. That was not that useful of a card to skip. In fact, you probably did me a service. You actually helped me, dude. <laughs> he just got me to uh, my payoff one turn, you know, just the same amount of time. Didn't matter. Yep, I like this guy. I like this guy. Very cool guy. I like him. Uh, man, oh freaking man. Yeah, I I like <laughs> I like this character a lot. I think it's really interesting, and it's a oh god, it's so cool. The fact that you can pivot into something very specific. The fact you can make him an unrestrained sword character too is interesting. That was um. Normally, 
Yan Shui is, for the most part, I think was the only, like, unrestrained sword themed character having unrestrained sword uh, flame dance which is just a chase card that plays into this archetype which is just like a every uh, every time you play an unrestrained sword card uh, all of them get better by like a flat amount and it gets crazy um, kind of a build so now we have a second character who can get a little bit of extra value out of that and moreover you can do it in a sort of ah man a really cute way or alternatively go for clear hearts ultimate <laughs> lol and just go for the numerical values up on everything and you just have one giga value card nothing crazy about it it's just it's really good value it does good damage maybe it gives you some defense uh maybe it increases your damage by wait hold on one of the Increase attack. Yeah, we could have gone for increase attack had we known we were going to be going that route a little bit earlier. Um, and then you could bump that number up to two. So gain two stacks of increase attack. Increase attack by... Yeah, I don't know. There's there's some fun stuff to do with this character. I like it a lot. I think this is one of the cooler characters that, uh, that they have in the Cloud Sword sect. For, like, for sure, right? Cloud Spirit Sword sect? Yeah. I don't know. Good game. Go get it. It's free now. There were some issues with the servers. Also, hey, if you like the game, go leave a good, like, a positive review because they got a lot of negative reviews from the fact that Steam's, like, servers were having issues with their game and they got negative reviews because of Steam's end of things. So if you want to help rectify that, go over there, leave some, you know, leave a positive review. The game is free. It's super good. The monetization feels like if anything, and you know this is a good sign for the consumer, if anything, I would say that, like, upgrading those cards to have that special little border is, like, not even that big of a, of a, of a good thing. <laughs> so it's like, it can't, you can't feel that much FOMO uh, or whatever on stuff like that. But alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. For Yi Xian, if you want more, you're going to have to let me know in the form of a comment down below. I would definitely be into playing more, but it depends how well these videos do. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to, at the very least, checking out all of the new characters once uh, to see what's up. We got you right here. We got you, Wu. Uh, the new kind of like fire element type character, it looks like. And then another one of the new the new sect. But hey, thank you for watching. Check the channel. Rogue likes some more typically every single day. Auto battlers and deck builders are definitely a thing if you're interested on this channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.